Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. David's here so early. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. He's pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. You never saw the condoms. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so nobody's fault, really. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Got Mom's purse? Still exhausted. <laughs> Better not do any more good deeds today. Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food.
Joyce Price, AKA Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such- What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. 
Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, uh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Do you not part... hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Damn, the stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. 
By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? There's his stupid socket wrench set. Let's get this shit show over with. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> to roll please don't want to talk please don't want to talk please. i want to talk to you about something fuck we don't have to like each other but you will respect me you've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure so there's some things i want to be real clear about mm -hmm. joyce your mother She's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough. No doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. 